What's Cooking, I'm Bella and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new to the channel, please take a moment and subscribe. This is about the only thing you need to do to show your support and motivate me to keep creating new contents for you to watch. Today we're going to be making crab cake, one of my favorites. So it's a very simple recipe, few ingredients, because what we want is to actually taste the crab. Don't forget the recipe and list of ingredients will be posted on the comments down below. So I have my mise en place ready to go and we're just going to start blending everything together. So crab meat, I have one pound of crab meat, just breaking it loose, chopped onion, very fine chopped onion, garlic, and now I'm going to add the egg and the panko. So very important. I'm going to start with just one egg. Um, this is going to vary depending on the size of the egg you're using. So I'm going to start with one and then half a cup of uh, panko crumbs and see if I get the consistency that I desire. If I feel that I need to add more, then I will add another egg. But before I do that, I'm going to finish adding my condiments and then we'll tell it, we'll see it later. Mustard, and then I like to also use whole grain mustard. I think it adds a little um, charm to my crab cakes. Uh, chopped parsley and lime juice. I like lime. If you like lemon, by all means, you can use lemon. I'm going to use one whole lime. Now, I don't know how it is when you buy your lime. Sometimes you buy and there's really no juice. So that's why I had some already um, chopped up here. And again, this is personal preference. So if you like with more, add more. Just mix in a little bit and then I'm going to add a little bit of hot sauce and I can't say the name of the sauce, Worcestershire, I don't know, just for flavor and then a little bit of salt as well. I'm starting just with one, it, this is uh, equivalent to half of a teaspoon. So this is the consistency with one egg only. I am going to add another egg. And if you're baking your crab cake, you may actually be okay with just one egg and half a cup of panko because in the oven, it's going to um, dry out a little bit. I'm using parchment paper just over my cutting board because we're going to make the cakes. You can use a cookie sheet. And then I am using a um, ice cream scoop to make sure they all turn out the same size. Just make the crab cakes the size you want. I like little ones, but you can actually make size of a burger too and make crab cake sandwich. So there's no secret to it. You just want to compress, make sure it's firm, and then try to make them almost all of the same size. It's okay if you have some cousins. All the crab cakes are ready. Again, you can make the size you want. Crab has a very um, delicate and sweet flavor, so I wanna keep it that way. So we're going to turn it to medium low and cook for three minutes on each side to make sure the egg cooks all the way through. So I'm actually using just cooking oil. I have grapeseed and there is a um, tip that I'm going to give you. Here at home, we actually love red palm oil. It pairs so well with crab cake. It, it brings that sweetness of the cake. So I mix the two oils and I'm going to show one recipe. I'm gonna cook one batch with the mixed oils. If you don't have red palm oil, you've never heard of it, you don't like it, don't use it. If you like to bring in a coconut flavor to your crab cake, you can use coconut oil to um, pan sear your crab cakes. Test 
technical difficulties, this pen is actually not working well, so I'm going to switch for something like this, but the oil is not in my crab cakes, it's just around the edges. My pen's hot, and then I already put some oil. And we're cooking three minutes on each side. It's been three minutes. Maybe you put a little bit more oil. Let me just show you uh, how I make the one with red foam. So a little bit of oil. And I quickly just mix them up. And that's it. I just want to show you this one. I did put the red palm oil. Look at the color, how beautiful. And then of course it has the different flavor. Um, and my house smells amazing. Now our crab cakes are ready. Mm, I'm dying to taste it. So I made a yogurt tahini uh, sauce to go along with the crab cake. I guess I'll place it here. I haven't thought this through yet. Um, and I also made pickled cucumber. It's actually a Japanese recipe. The only thing different is that I like to add kombu to this to marinate and give that special Asian flavor, Japanese flavor. But I didn't have any, so this doesn't have kombu. But it's so yummy. I'm actually posting a recipe. Oops to learn how to make this pickled Japanese cucumber, which goes super, super well with the crab cake. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and recipe. If you did, please leave some comments down below. If you make this crab cake, tag me on Instagram, simplybella underscore cooking. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.